Uh, good morning, people. Uh, I was talking, my mic was muted. Okay, can I be heard? All right, thank you so much. So uh, we can start our, our, our stand up. Today is Monday and it's the ninth week. I've been so excited on Slack there when I saw the schedule. Uh, guys, it's, it's so exciting. I don't know how you're feeling there. It's week nine. We only have a few weeks remaining uh, to end our program. Yeah. So uh, let's start our, our check-in, our stand-up today. It's just checking on each other. But also before that, we can go through the, the schedule of today. It's J week nine. Yes, we have stand up. After stand up, of course, uh, as usual, we're gonna have tutorial, challenge production, then community building session, then they want tutorial one understanding provided reference doc documents and terms of references, TOR, and then pen challenge work. So that's it for today. And I think yeah, that's maybe what I can say on my end. Maybe I can handle the mic to you guys if you ready to share uh, what's the progress, how you're looking for, what, for this week, what's the goal, anything you would love to share, if you have a challenge so far. Yeah, I think we have AI with us. you will be assisting. So let's, let me pass the mic over to you. Who's willing to start? All right, we have Givere so far, anyone else? We're gonna follow the queue. Givere, you can go on. Yes, then we're gonna have Snelde. Givere can go first, then we pass to Snelde. Okay, good morning. I'm very happy that you, we, we are at week nine. Um, actually, I'm very, very happy. Yeah, so I was just thinking yeah, uh, during during the weekend, uh, I was just uh, trying to picture myself as a project manager and maybe I'm given a project. So I was just, uh, thinking uh, maybe how maybe I could recruit people now that I have skills in maybe HR, hiring people, yeah, labor. And actually I had, my, I had a question on uh, budgeting eh? and and it's something that I wanted to put across today that maybe we, we get taught how to maybe uh, hire people, uh, their budgets in terms of maybe their salaries, maybe budget for uh, resources I'm going to use for the project and I can't express my joy when I opened uh, the, this week's schedule and saw something to do with budgeting. So this week I'm just expecting to get more insights about budgeting and actually becoming a better project manager. That's all. H have a great week, all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Givere. Um, Checking AI, do you have anything a bit referred on that? Sorry, was there a question from Gitiria? I didn't hear that. Not really a question. Uh, it's just a comment that I've just put across. Yeah, um, on being just a, a, a better project manager and uh yeah. my concern was uh about budgeting and I, I commented that i'm happy that i've seen the schedule uh, for this week has something to do with budgeting so i'm expecting to to gain a lot from uh, this week's ah session. okay yeah oh okay. no, no, no i get you uh, yeah. sorry i i had that challenge then i thought maybe you have a challenge sorry i got you wrong all right thank you so much uh for the good uh sharing very yeah, I think actually it's good. I also agree with you. The, the schedule for this week is really, really amazing. Yeah. So let's hear from Tusnelde. Okay. Uh, good morning, all. Ah, I'm very happy for this week. Actually, I have to talk about my experience for last week. Uh, when I do the CV analysis screening, eh, I realized that it's not that an easy job to do. Given the fact that different CV have different style and format, it's really hard for you to get the best candidate. And now I understand why sometimes you apply and you don't even got caught up. It's not an easy job, but yeah, I learned a lot. And also now I learned that 
I need to make my CV a bit easier to read just for whoever is going to screen my CV. They don't have hard time reading what am I, I'm saying here because some of the CV are just like, oh my goodness, why do all this information on the CV? <laughs> <laughs> the experience I learned, I learned last week. And for this week, actually, I did a software project management, but I never learned about uh, project budgeting. It was just uh, what causes a project failing, but then budgeting, how to come up with a budget, I didn't really understand that, even though I passed the module. But yeah, now I'm happy that I finally went to have learned everything about it. And also, I have a question. Uh, this project uh, budgeting, let me say you have a project and then you need to pitch it. Is, is this a way you have to learn how to pitch? There's a topic where you have to state your budget, what are you asking? I hope this, this uh, week is going, to teach, is going to teach us about that because I don't know how to come, if I have an idea and I have to pitch it, I don't know how to come up with a budget. How do I come up with a budget that I don't know? How to do that. That's it. That's all for me. Amazing. Thank you so much. I think, yeah, uh, I think tomorrow, the session for tomorrow, the tutorial for tomorrow, it's about uh, preparing the document. I think you also cover that. Like, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. We can, but I'm just guessing. I, I don't know. I haven't checked yet. I'm just guessing. But of course, maybe it will have something related to that. Yeah, so we can hear from other people. Anyone else want to share and share what you're looking up for this week? Hello. Yes, Gidere. Yeah, I, I think before we, yeah, yeah, yes. sure. On what uh, to say, Truth Nelde has just said. I actually it's a question, eh? uh, because uh, out of the many CVs that we had last week. Uh, we were told to choose five at random. Eh? So it's just a, a simple question. Eh? Is this what happens in these uh, other kinds of jobs? Like they just choose like maybe 10 at random and that is how some of us miss some opportunities out there. Or what happens actually? <laughs> I, I really get the question really correct. I didn't get, get your question well, Givere. I'm trying to rephrase it. Eh? Uh, part of uh, our last week's task, uh, for each department, we were supposed to choose five CVs at random, eh? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so meaning uh, out of maybe the, the 200 CVs were, were in that department, the other, one, the other ones uh, never got the chance to be screened. Eh? So my question is, is this the same thing that happens out there in the job market that they just maybe decide they're just going to take 10 at random eh? and just uh, leave the other ones? Is that what happens? Uh, I, think, I think it depends with the, uh, uh, the strategy they're using to recruit. If you're asking about other, maybe in the real uh, job search or something, it depends with the strategy they're using. Maybe they might use that, like maybe random, but I think they after I maybe mean, before hiring they have uh, criteria and how they're going to screen and how going, they're going to set for uh, other stage CVs like that. I think it depends. I don't know maybe what AI can say about it. Um, that that's a good question. Uh, but uh, they don't just uh, take random uh, CVs if they want to hire the uh, the talents so what what happens these days is that they 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 have an ai and then they the first screening will be through the ai and from that they they will take the the top some percent right and then they they will check those and then they will um call out those selected ones that that's uh, what's happening but for the, the last week challenge was just for an exercise uh, because you you cannot um 
analyze all those CVs for uh, a particular uh, position. Uh, but in reality, um, they, they, they use AI to filter out the first phase and then they, some human intervention uh, and the process goes on. That, that's what I think. I hope that helps. Amazing. I think that answers Givere. I think, yeah, I also agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, they, they use AI so much because you can't have maybe, for example, they have uh, 1,000 applicants and maybe you need like maybe two. I, I don't think you can give that time to go through all those CVs. So nowadays, they use AI to screen maybe a few, then uh, human interaction maybe uh, it comes after when they have at least like chosen a few that they can manage. Yep. Yes, Tsunede, you want to add something? Yeah, yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, I realize on most of the CV, some of them, they have like a lot of information. What is the best to do? Is it do I only need to specify my certification? I realize they normally need to have certification for you to be competent. So do you only have to list down my education, maybe my degree and then the certification and then just a few uh, experience? Or do I have to put all my education is starting from uh, maybe the first diploma up to the degree and the master like that? Or and how many pages is recommended? Because I see some with two, some with one page, some with four page. That's a very good question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to something um, that? Okay. Uh... I think you will have a session on uh, CV preparation uh, during our time. Uh, that's like two months ago. Um, I had almost more than 12 years of experience and my CV was uh, a four page, right? So uh, when I showed them, they were shocked. Uh, because that that that's too long to uh, see the the hiring manager or wh whoever see your CV for the first time, so they 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 usually don't spend much time uh, when they see your CV, like maybe a, a minute or three minutes, uh, they will just scan and get a feeling uh, what you have. So I was asked to put all those four pages into one page, right? Um, I thought that was impossible, but with the help of the career tutors uh, and Aaron, uh, we were able to make it into one page, right? So as much as possible, it's, uh, don't put everything there. Um, when you say certification what kind of certification is that is it really important for that particular job you, you need to uh, identify those so there are basic elements that you need to put like your education your work experience and the um, summary of your profession like a paragraph uh, of not more than 50 words so you, you will have a session on that, I think. Uh, so it has to be concise, not more than uh, one page, uh, or one page is a recommended one these days. And no pictures, no colors. There are some, um, not rules, but uh, yeah, you, I think you will, you will learn that after the uh, 12 week. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, I think maybe what I can add on that, uh, nowadays people don't have much time to spend on CV. They, they just see what, what matters. And, and of course, our CVs varies according to the to what you where you're applying. And every job position goes with a specific CV. For example, if you're applying maybe today, you're applying HR on, for example, maybe HR on this 
in this company of course your cv will be specific to that uh it will be different to other cv that we take to another different company because you need to specify you need to customize according uh, according to the information according to the job descriptions because i believe they will be different in 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 kind of way yeah uh anyone else maybe uh, with a question or challenge or maybe to share we have nine minutes anyone else would love to speak we are not allowed i think we can all use this remaining minute and share if you're not unable to speak you can share in the chat box yeah we have Fimosa, we have uh, Jibat, we have Habib, uh, we have Kolajo, Onene, Sosten, Tahir, Ura, and Yeshi, and Zemfael. Can you see reactions that we are together? If there's no questions, let me know. Okay. You can see in the chat box, Zemfael, I'm very proud and happy with you everything is going well the challenge document throughout the week is very interesting and provides a lot of knowledge now i feel i'm the best project manager wow that's amazing i want to say thank you i hope this week also goes well that's amazing thank you so much for sharing the file the here good morning everybody okay can we share? We have seven minutes remaining. Bicycle is amazing. We learned a lot from it. It's amazing. So let me hope there's no there's no challenge. There's no. Uh, Set back so far. Okay, I guess so. From Fimosa, I'm doing good also, making myself ready for this week's challenge. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, Fimosa. I'm guessing maybe people are typing down since no one is raising a hand to speak. I don't have anyone in the queue. Uh, I would love also to share something. I think, I don't know, maybe on your side, it's possible you may be, maybe in somewhere, maybe you're unable to speak or something, but it's also good to, to start learning how to share and how to speak. I'm very sure uh, you can't, uh you, you can have something to share even if maybe you're not talking about the progress or anything but let's just normalize the things of sharing you know speak out speak out let people know you let people know that you're there today you know like let's be sharp so this is an opportunity to even speak you know we hear different people from different places so we should be using this opportunity yeah okay so i guess everything is fine since uh, i can't see more chats following in okay okay all right from jibat good morning was good even screening cv was a good challenge for me amazing seems like last week was good do you have anyone else sharing We have five minutes. I think we can use it. Can you tell me? Zero nine nine. Okay. Four one four. Uh Five three four four. So you can call outside, right? I can call. I can. I think that was the mistake. It's 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 a proof that people can't be able to speak, right? <laughs> Okay, so I think we can we can wrap up. Um, I think we can wrap up since there's no any other challenges. So let's look forward for this week. 
and um, we meet in the next session which is tutorial challenge introduction yeah so bye uh, i hope every, everything is fine if you happen to have a challenge or maybe any setback uh, always you can reach out uh, on slack we'll be there thank you so much have a good monday and a good week of course